Hello, welcome to Inspirational Teachings channel. This is Pastor Grace Kitcher. I'm so grateful and humbled because I know that God is doing great things in your life and in my life. If this is your first time on this platform, please, please, please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and also tell us where you are watching. For my returning viewers, I just want to say thank you. You have been so amazing. So amazing. Thank you so much. So today we'll be looking at the power of silence. The power of silence. I want to give you three aspects. Three things that you can that can help you to practice silence. I used to be a talkative. I used to talk a lot. I used to. I say I used to talk a lot. But I've learned the craft of silence. We get caught up in a lot of things. The world is very busy. And I don't think that is going to slow down because of innovation and uh, a lot of science coming up and uh, social media and many other things. A lot, a lot of things. We get choked from the left, right, center, north, east, and west with all those things. It keeps us busy. And life can be so busy that you forget the crafts that will keep you and make you come across as a person who knows what they are engaged in. The person who knows their destiny. And I want you to share this video. I want you to invite your friends to be part of this family of inspirational TV channel. I'm so grateful for your support. And if you want to support us, please click the thank you button and you send your support to us. It will go a long way to support our ministry. God bless you. So the three things that I want you to know, when you practice silence, when you practice silence, you keep your enemy in check. You keep your enemy in check. There is nothing that is so so worrisome or that is so stupid when you give your enemy arsenals to get back to you i know that sometimes the enemy can push you to the wall that you have to fight back but until that time comes do not give your enemy a foothold do not give your enemy weapons to fight you back so practice the craft of being silent in the face of tribulation it is difficult but the word of god says in james that the tongue is a poisonous thing we have to learn how to tame the tongue we have to learn how to practice silence the bible tells us Bless is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor sit in the seat of mockers, nor stand in the way of sinners, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the law of the Lord, he meditates day and night. And this kind of person grows. This kind of person is prosperous. This kind of person is wise. He is like a tree that is planted by streams of water and he bears fruit in season. So practicing silence gives your enemy, it gives your enemy sleepless nights. They will come to you in many ways. They will want to silence you. They will want to fabricate things about you. They will go to the street because you have been practicing silence. They will seek to disgrace you. They will seek to talk about you. They will even go to social media and talk about you. Let me tell you the truth. You owe them nothing but love. You owe the enemy nothing but love. And the word of God says, pray. For those who persecute you and love them that is all that you need you don't need to give them any foothold you don't need to talk back silence zip up 
zip up and you will see the power of it they will text you they will provoke you but stay calm zip up meditate on the word of the lord pray for them love them and the heavens will respond to you the power of silence i tell you the truth if you practice this you will see great results you will see great results because it begins from it springs out from within it will come from within and you will see your peace because you have not given them a word the bible say god will fight for you the word of god is powerful and i love god and he says that he will contend with those who contend with you he will fight your battle so zip up the power of being silent in in, in the face of adversity will always bring victory on your side you become triumphant because you kept silence don't give your enemy weapons to fight you back because you have to explain and explain yourself and explain yourself the enemy will come to seek and to destroy you but don't give him any arsenal they text you do not respond if the person meets you face to face and sit down with you and talk with you you can now converse with that person but the silence that you give them brings glory to god and help you to triumph because god will fight for you he will defend you number two the second thing that you need to know about the craft of silence is that it makes you wise it makes you wise why because in in the midst of talking where people want to make themselves known they want to show off and you are silent you pick up important points in their discussion and then when it comes for you to speak up you speak sense you make a lot of meaning then people will know that you are a woman of integrity you're not a loose person you're a woman of integrity and they can entrust their issues they can entrust their secrets to you so you come out as a wise person and you give wise counsel a good counselor is a listening counselor is somebody who is able to just listen not judging others not jumping into conclusion so the power the craft of being silent helps you to be wise and makes you to understand the cause of discussion and you come across as well understood and as powerful as it can be and people will love and trust you that's number two number three silence keeps you focused when you practice the craft of silence you are focused on the goal and you are calm you see most engineers are very calm and focused people they don't talk a lot a good doctor doesn't talk a lot a good engineer will not talk if you look at most successful people they are really calm people and they don't want to waste their energy talking and talking and talking and you see most people they will sit for a day just talking wasting time the bible says that time is of essence we have to redeem the time that we have there is very little time in your hands to accomplish your destiny as you walk the walk and talk the talk as you live in this world this is not your final place we are all strangers and we shall all exit this world but i want you to stay focused try to practice this craft of silence meditating upon the word of god keeping your calm staying focused on the goal because when you stay focused on the goal you accomplish a lot of things if you look at the life of those of many who 
talk a lot they become gossip in the community people like to talk especially with women and uh, they, they like to talk about other people compare about their progress comparing about their education and all this talk 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 but if, when you practice silence people will know that you are not somebody that you spend your time talking about people they wouldn't want to come up to you because they know that you are a no-no zone for them to bring their trash to you and so they will look up to you like somebody that has focus and you will come across as important your dignity will be upheld in the community and the community will be able to come seek help from you the craft of silence is very important so we have talked about three things that i want you to take home and if you're listening to my voice right now please share this video also let us know where you are watching from where you're watching from which country you are from and and tell us whether you are practicing this whether you have been involved in that other part of talking 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 and how it helped you and how you 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 were able to come out of it i'm saying this because i know that a lot of people's life have been destroyed because of the lack of control of their tongue and the fact that they have not practiced the craft of being silenced there's power in silence there's power in silence i have seen it i have experienced it and i'm so happy that i learned it earlier in my life i want to talk as little precise and concise as i can and i want to listen more there's power in listening there's power in listening because it helps you to understand the trend of thoughts of other people and you can be able to deduce what is going on in a situation and come out with a solution to it so if you're listening to me please share this video thank you for watching i am so glad that you are here may god bless you and keep you may god help you and give you the grace to be able to practice the craft of silence give other people a chance to talk when you are in a gathering do not dominate the conversation let other people talk and then you will come out as powerful and as you are they will know that you are somebody that wants to share the space of conversation so god bless you as you listen to this video please give us a thumbs up like the video and also leave a comment we want to know where you are i want to know you personally God bless you and I will see you next time.